The triple meltdown of the nuclear reactor in Fukushima, Japan, after the tsunami and earthquake just over two years ago, was the worst nuclear disaster since Chernobyl. In the wake of that disaster, countries from Germany to China have been rethinking their attitudes towards nuclear power. But in Taiwan, the shadow cast by Fukushima is even longer than elsewhere. Like Japan, Taiwan sits on the edge of the Pacific. And also like Japan, it suffers from regular earthquakes and typhoons. I'm standing in front of what was, until recently, expected to become Taiwan's fourth nuclear power plant. Construction on a plant named Longmen began in the late 1990s, and it could come online as early as 2015. The administration of the plant, Tai Power, is keen to point out the safety features this plant has that the plant in Fukushima, Japan, lacked. However, lingering concerns about the plant's safety mean the whole project could soon be suspended. Taiwan needs every kind of uh, energy because uh, Taiwan is um, natural uh, resources um, is very uh, poor. Uh, we have to import 98% uh, of our energy uh, from uh, uh, outside this country. So uh, we need uh, coal, we need natural gas, we, we, we need also nuclear power. Shutting this plant could actually happen. The government in Taipei in February proposed a nationwide referendum asking voters if they want to see the plant cancelled. So far, the timing of that vote remains unclear, but polling shows a majority of Taiwanese oppose the plant, which is just 40 kilometers from the capital of Taipei. Without nuclear, experts predict Taiwan will need to rely more on imported gas and coal. But that could become expensive and environmentally damaging, and it could also leave Taiwan in trouble if military conflict broke out. To overcome those problems, some here are now trying to develop renewable sources of energy. Taiwan Generations Corporation is building the nation's first offshore wind farm in the Taiwan Strait. When it is finished in 2020, it is expected to provide enough energy for nearly 200,000 households. I think the government just shifted their attention to renewable energy recently because we're focusing pretty much on a conventional project. And, and due to, like I said, they, they start to aware of carbon reductions, start to aware of the issue of uh, high dependency, uh, dependency on, um, on importing energy. Taiwan is also a major producer of solar cells. In fact, it's the second largest supplier globally by capacity. But only a small percentage of those solar cells are used here in Taiwan. We got a very nice uh, um, solar condition for solar power producing. But uh, the problem is here is the price for electricity is very low. Wei Renjan and his wife worked for years in Germany learning how that country has been able to encourage renewable energy and energy efficient construction. When they returned to Taiwan, they wanted to promote the use of solar power, so they built a model solar powered public library in Taipei. But the idea has not caught on the way it has in Germany. We have to do something, not only the price policy, but only uh, to know we need kind of um, uh, energy mix. Uh, it's easier to say, but uh, it's very difficult to understand uh, what kind of uh, energy mix we do need for the next coming years. Taiwan still has to decide what to do with this controversial nuclear plant. Regardless, the island will find it difficult to ensure access to safe and inexpensive energy. And while the island's literal isolation makes that problem all the harder, it's certainly not the only nation dealing with it. Sarah Mishkin for the Financial Times in Taipei.